Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another solo leveling arise video. All right, guys, sorry about last night. Um, I'll drop one video. That's really rare of me. I'm usually about three to four to five a day, but uh, it's, been, it's been very busy. So I do want to talk about something today, though, that I think is going to help pretty much everybody, whether you're a veteran player or a, a brand new player coming on. Uh, keep in mind, global is dropping within the next seven days or so. So we're going to be seeing a surplus of players coming out obviously because it's going to be released all over the world no more vpn required and those folks who are playing currently with vpn uh, or have jumped on early release when you're not supposed to be keep in mind your account will retain you will keep everything as is the only thing i don't know if it's going to help uh, or affect your purchasing in any way shape or form because obviously now it's it's gone globally and it will be in your region so personally for me i've mentioned this numerous times i'm going to be starting a brand new free-to-play account playing for real rather than just srs i may go back to that account here and there just to do a little bit more testing but overall i'll be starting brand new with you guys plus keeping my pay to win account of course for any testing purposes for new characters etc so uh keep that in mind now there's another thing as well too i'll be doing a uh, summoning video with a, another fellow content creator who i've known for a very a long time uh so uh keep that in mind as well too that'll be a special announcement as we get closer and then we'll be doing full-on testing with cha when she does release going from a0 to a1 to a2 to a3 to a4 and then to a5 i'll be doing a full-on test every single step of the way so you guys understand the value she brings at every single advancement now with that being said the topic today we're going to talk about is going to be uh Juno's skills skills we did a video yesterday on blessing stone so go check that out if you if you want to know which are the top blessing stones for survival and dps it'll give you a full breakdown but i do want to talk about my favorite personal my personal favorite skills in the game uh, we're going to break them down through a couple different ways as well we're going to talk about utility uh break and dps okay so these are going to be broken down into numerous different stages now I'll talk about each single one and explain to you guys where they stand in my in my personal favorite list and what I've been able to use to utilize uh, these skills and complete the game both on free to play and pay to win, right? So let's talk about the break ones first. So there's two specific break ones that I think everybody needs to focus on. And, I, and this is these are two of my personal favorites. The first one is gonna be multi-strike. Now remember, multi-strike, just like every other skill, will change based on the ruin that you plan to use. Now, what I love about multi-strike that it has pretty much every element in there. The only one it's missing is wind i believe but it's it has the most i believe elements of any other skill in the game if you look here besides i think crushing blow which also has four but all, that one has wind right so with multi-strike what i like about it number one it's rapid fire attacks which is great and they all have amazing skills so for example if you look at the water one right this one here uh crushing blow so this one increases the damage of crushing blow by 10 percent for 10 seconds when the last attack in the combo hit it deals more light break uh damage every three seconds for nine seconds so this one here even though it is light break it does do additional damage to break which gives you guys more break damage overall by using this water one and because it's water elemental it'll do more advantage on water weakness elements versus not even if you don't have water weakness this this thing still applies right so that's the beauty of that one the fire one is incredible because it does more damage to bosses and elite monsters you guys can see here i got a legendary one it's my only one it does 100 percent the epic i believe is 75 and the rare is 50 but nonetheless it is medium break and does do quite a bit of damage and again it's super super fast and rapid fire attacking the dark one here is actually really nice too because every time this skill hits increases damage by three percent stacking up to three times again this is the epic version of this one uh when the skill hits it also resets dagger toss so that that's not a big deal about dagger toss i personally not a fan of dagger toss but it, it either way it is if you do plan to use that it will help you with dagger toss cooldown but right now this thing here is incredible for that and then last multi-strike here is actually the light version when this skill is used increases critical hit rate by three percent for eight seconds when this skill hits resets cooldown which is also really really nice so you can you can kind of spam this a little bit uh for uh, just wait for the 20 second cooldown it'll reset again and you can do this one two more times so multi-strike is probably one of my favorite break mechanic uh skills in the game and i think it's one that people should definitely focus on and this one also gives you super armor which is super cool too so a lot of cool things this one here you guys can see he becomes invincible so it doesn't take any damage there's a couple different effects right this one does airborne and then this one here also does airborne so that one that one is one of my personal favorites now a lot of people do like crushing blow as well for break i personally don't like crushing blow quite as much uh, but it's up to you if you want to use it the beauty of crushing blow is it has different elements it does give you a shield for one of them for example it does a 
a knockdown. It increases your attack for 12 seconds, can stack up to two times. This one here uh, gives you a, a dot on the opponent, which is kind of nice as well too. This is a counter, which actually does quite a bit of damage and also provides you a shield and is a heavy blow as well and also provides you a stun. A little bit more timing required on this one obviously compared to the rest of them and then the fire version here doesn't knock down but also charges the power gauge by 10 percent and decreases the ultimate cooldown skill by 10 seconds so this one here is probably my favorite out of all of them because of the utility that it brings so a very very potent uh skill as well too but i personally just like the animation and, and rapidness of multi-strike so these two are very very powerful in that now the best one out of all the crushing uh, of all the uh, the break ones in my opinion is death dance i think death dance is probably the best skill in the game by far for me period outside of commander's touch and we'll talk more about that one shortly now the beauty here is you've got light wind dark and fire so again you got all four elements here as well and now with death dance you usually do a little bit more damage and the skills are actually really nice so for example this light one is a heavy break does a knockdown but when the skill is used it increases critical damage by 30 percent yeah, that's a lot, right? Critical hit, uh, sorry, uh, critical hit damage, but yeah, 30% for, for 10 seconds. I remember this actually does work because it's a skill. The only thing that's broken right now are stats. This also does reset Commander's Touch, which is massive, uh, and it's a 45 second cooldown, but Commander's Touch can be done twice in a row because of this skill. So one of my favorites for sure is the light version of this. Now the wind version does the light break, but the skill can be used up to three times in a row, and also it charges your skill gauge or your skill bar, which is your ultimate bar, uh, by 1% every time something gets hit. This increases as you get it up, obviously, in terms of the... Um, the ranking, I've only got it at that rare, but if you get epic and legendary, this does insane amounts of damage, plus increases your gauge even faster. The dark one is really good, very similar to the fire one for multi-strike, but does heavy break instead, and also deals additional damage to bosses and elite monsters. Again, the legendary one does 100% versus 75, and then the fire one here also uh, increases the damage done to enemy, enemy elemental weaknesses. So when you're fighting a fire opponent, like the dragon today, for example, this will do 20% more damage with this skill, which does quite a bit of damage on its own, even without the break part, but it is a heavy break. So this is probably my favorite of the breaks. So there you guys go. These two, in my opinion, are the best. Death Dance and Multi-Strike. You can, of course, focus on Crushing Blow, but I, I do like these two as my favorite. Now, I would level this up as much as you possibly can. Death Dance, at least, and Multi-Strike as well. Remember, if you get the skills and the rankings, the leveling up will happen on its own, but you can also apply skills to level them up as well too, right? I guess you can see right here, for example, right there, right? Okay, so those are the best break skills in the game. Now let's go over to DPS. All right, guys, let's talk about some of the DPS now. The DPS skills are going to be ones that you're going to use when there is really not a break state required, when the boss doesn't have a break bar, and you just want to put out the most amount of damage as possible. Now there, my personal two favorites are going to be the following two, Vital Strikes, and mutilate now that's not to take away from vertical arts which i think is an incredible incredible amount of damage if you've done 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 properly and then cutting rush as well too can do some really good damage but cutting rush also has a lot of utility so i put it under the utility section instead of the actual dps section so now i'll explain that when i get to the utility part now the reason why i like vital strike so much for two reasons number one the the water version of it does create a shield and the shield actually is pretty damn strong it lasts for 12 seconds gives you guys 7.5 percent of course that's at the epic version i think the rare version is five percent only uh so that that i find is one of the more important skills and it is water elemental so it always helps you with a little bit more damage now the only problem with the vertical uh, strike is the fact that it doesn't have any more elements attached to it so you're going to just get raw physical damage from it right so if you look at the next one here vital strike which is hone in this one does just more damage to bosses and elite monsters again 75 percent with epic 100 percent for the the um, legendary version and the percentage here is fairly high we're looking at 1128.47 percent add an extra 75 percent of extra damage added to the opponents and then here this one here this does i like this because it's a good replacement when you don't have shadow step available for you or a defense breaker just by casting this right here the internal wound you do defense down on the opponent for 12 seconds and then when shadow step is up you get shadow step and do 60% down. So this is a good replacement for that cooldown whenever you need it. And guys, 15% defense down is quite a bit, to be honest with you, in this game. So if you don't have, uh, for example, Choi, or if you don't have Beck, 
regular back and you don't have defense down or shadow step is on cooldown, this is an incredible skill to use to keep that going and just doing raw damage, more damage on the opponent, right? And then the last one here is this one increases uh, Jinu's attack by 7% for 12 seconds, which I think is a fairly high amount with Decimate. So that is actually a really good buffing one as well too and does fairly decent damage. So that's the reason why I kind of like Vertical Arts. It does have... Uh, the utility but also backs up with some of the damage now mutilate here keep in mind there's a little hold button there right only specifically in the dark one now this one here is so damn powerful there's a 20 percent chance that the hunter will ignore 100 percent of the target's defense uh, when they're attacking now that is massive now this is the difference between damage penetration and, and, a, and a skill like this this one actually will ignore full 100 percent doesn't matter if the opponent has a buff or not it's irrelevant 100 percent of that defense is gone so you'll do the most amount of possible damage on this one and again you can hold it down which means you can even do a stronger attack than already already mentioned here and it is dark element right there is a water element version as well now this one has a little bit more utility to it because you also get the option of free freezing an opponent at the same time uh, giving you that extra utility again to do more damage okay and then we have ourselves uh, phantom here which will do um, 440% uh, and then also based on his uh, Jinu's max HP so that's a unique one because it does the attack st stat and as well as the HP stat so this one here you can build a little bit more hybrid and get double the attack and also when you do hit with the skill you can have a cooldown and then recast it again so doubling that DPS and if you guys add this up times two you're getting quite a bit of damage probably the hardest hitting move he has in mutilate uh, on this one as well too right keep that in mind and then you have right here another one <clears throat> and look these all can be held down by the way right well this one here has a hold down button this one I don't think I should know it does it has a hold down there as well and then right here strike so this one does 685 percent of Jinu's attack uh it does cause airborne and when this skill hits it decreases the target's attack and defense by eight percent giving you a little bit more survivability so those two are my favorite dps's now i'm not going to take away from crosshair again the reason the uh, crosshair or sorry vertical arts is nice i called the crosshair for a second is because it has all of the elements which is really really cool and then also at the same time they do fairly good damage and now this one here does more damage to opponents in the break state by 150 percent but again that break state doesn't last very long obviously for opponents that get their bar back or the ones that lose it all completely you get it for the whole battle which is kind of nice the fire one here does do more damage against bosses 45 percent and this increases to 75 and 100 very similar to the other one but the percentage is just a little bit low uh the dark one here is a counter so keep that in mind you guys can see the counter icon so it does do 464 percent does do a knockdown when the skill is used it applies a shield equal to 20 percent of his max hp only for two seconds though uh and then you can counter attack and deal 100 percent of the damage and stun the opponent this one does take a little bit more skill and i think that's why i don't like this one quite as much and then there's the wind version here uh, depending on the number of target hits increases the damage dealt to non-boss monsters by 10 percent so again not quite as powerful but it does provide you a little bit more usage there as well but those two right there guys if we're talking about vital strikes and mutilate are my two favorite dps raw dps ones that you use on opponents who don't have a break bar all right guys let's talk about the utility ones and then that'll end the video all right, guys, last but not least, utility. Now, this one here is going to be broken down to two different skills. One is technically a hybrid, and second one is pretty much, in my opinion, full utility. So the hybrid one I'm referring to here is going to be called Cutting Rush. Uh, Cutting Rush has two purposes. Number one, incredible DPS, but number two, obviously, the fact that it does uh, some utility as well, too. So, for example, one utility here is when landing a back attack has a 40% chance to apply 100% crit rate on the next attack, which is nice, but you can also see here, from a damage perspective, it doesn't do too bad. There's a dark elemental one, which makes him invincible when he does a skill, but also increasing the crit rate uh, by 7% for 7 seconds. Um, and then we have this one here, when the skill is used, critical uh, hit rate, sorry, critical hit damage is increased by 20%, and then also right here, doing just more damage in, in overall break state. So again, um, Cutting Rush is nice for some utility, but it's not really meant to be a utility one, it just has a little bit of it by giving some buffs. So the main utility one you're going to want to use, and I'm going to move my camera here, is going to be Commander's Touch. Now this here is going to be a key element to finishing a lot of the content in this game. Now there is actually no elemental advantage to any of this but you guys can see here what it offers so first one here is called black hole now the beauty of this one is it actually consumes all the opponents in one spot and vacuums them in together allowing you to just aoe anything in, in sight uh, depending on the number of targets of course it does do more damage to non-boss monsters so this one is a key factor in stage 14 15 and some of the later stages in especially when using things like west wind or grimoire etc just to gather things together or scythe it doesn't really matter any aoe skill with this 
pretty much murders non-boss units, all right? Uh, now, another one here, of course, is going to be the finisher. Now, the beauty of the finisher is it, it decreases the target's defense by 15%. The only problem with this one is it does take a little bit of time to cast, uh, so just be wary of that. But again, it is an AoE utility one and does do decent damage at the same time. It just takes a longer cast, though. Uh, so Liberation here, this skill can be used up to two times, which is beautiful, and your attack increases by 3% for 12 seconds, stacking up to two times. Of course, this is the epic version. Now, if you have the death dance light skill you can recast that twice giving you guys even more utility from this one giving you a stack of uh nine sorry 12 percent if you recast it four times right because this one can be done stacked up to twice and can be done two times so casting it four times will give you guys 12 percent more attack allowing you to get a pretty major buff and do some pretty decent aoe damage as well too and then absorption now this one here is kind of cool because uh, this does fairly high damage, does a knockdown, but also when the skill is used and hits the opponent, the user recovers 5% of their mana points. So it's a great way to keep your mana going and at the same time gives you guys 5% of your power gauge, activating a maximum of three times. So this is a great way to grow your ultimate bar, plus keep your mana flow going fairly steadily. Now this is an epic version, of course, so keep that in mind. So this, in my opinion, is hands down the best utility in the game so commander stuff so the top four guys i would or top five i would focus on are going to be death dance and multi-strike for full-on break again these are just my opinions and what i've been able to do there's no wrong answer or right answer here uh for the main dps ones i do vertical arts or sorry uh, vital strikes and um, mutilate as the two main dps ones and the main utility one is commander's touch now again remember you can skill these up by using the level up option right here i'm gonna move my screen again or you guys can get different various versions of these. When you do that, the skill will level up on its own. All right, guys, this is Payne. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any comments or questions or any suggestions yourselves. And let me know what you're using uh, for these levels of break, DPS, and utility. And maybe we can learn some more things from you guys as well. All right, guys, see you guys in the next video. Take care.